What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. Hi, folks. How you doing? Good evening. You know who I am, as you can see. You know what I do. I give you an interesting diatribe every week, day in, day out. And let me tell you folks something. I spit three things around here. I speak three things. I speak American English. I speak facts. And I speak real shit. So don't worry about what the naysayers say. I'm not concerned about what so-and-so is saying. Because if, if, they're, if, they're, if they're talking about me in whispers, it's not a problem. They know the problem comes once they do it out of the open because that's when I go to their videos. And then that's when I just carve them up like a Ginsu knife. So let me go in. Today we're going to talk about... Uh, apparently we negotiate with terrorists. Now I'm going to talk about a situation where a sergeant, why I know, why not I know Sergeant Park Dahl got traded for, basically traded for five, uh, five Afghan, Afghani detainees at Gitmo. And uh, the uproar with this is, you know, I'm going to give, there's two, there's two uproars really. First of all, the uproar I'm going to talk about is there's an uproar with our policy, which Obama never really stated this, but I can't admit that he did. He's, he's telling the truth on this. Obama never stated this. This was a George Bush Jr. quote. This was what George Bush Jr. said. But Obama never said this. George Bush was the one that said, we don't negotiate with terrorists. And that's a hard line to hold. And I, and I can only imagine what he, that man has, has, has to have on his shoulders to deal with that, because... You've seen some of these videos they put out. If you haven't, like I do is go to some of these websites. They'll show you what they do, like the beheadings and all that. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to say any websites, but I've been directed to a few. I've seen it. George Bush went to Jr., which I admire because George Bush Jr., on side note, he stuck to a lot of his principles. Even though he was called or whatever this that and third, he stuck to his principles. You know, I may not like some of his policies, but as a man, he stuck by what he said. To me, that's honorable. That's why a lot of you guys aren't honorable to me. But uh, back to the topic. Now, George Bush said we don't negotiate with tariffs. And during his administration, that was true. They didn't negotiate with tariffs. Now, when Obama came, we had the boards. And now, like I said, now we're getting everybody out. And so Bergdorf, and I want to talk, I'm going to touch this on the second part of this video. Bergdorf, for whatever reason, allegedly he deserted his post. He got kid. He got detained. We've been detained for five years, so we're getting our troops out of Afghanistan. And by the way, since we're doing this video, Afghanistan has signed a security agreement, thanks to the folks in Iraq. But we'll get back to that. But uh, Afghan, we signed a deal with the Taliban where if they release Bergdahl, President Obama went on, and, they, and like the Congress has said, I don't go down with that. But what we did is we released Bergdahl. They released Bergdahl, we released five detainees, we did a swap, they, you've seen it on TV. The swap happened, Bergdahl's in San Antonio right now, getting re-educated, getting re-whatever, back to the American side, repatriated, whatever you want to call it, back to the American side. Now, if there's an initial uproar, because guys are saying that we never negotiate with terrorists. But, like I said, Obama has never said this, that I've known, I mean, he may, if he has, Direct me to a link. I, I may be wrong. I mean, I doubt it, but I may be wrong. Direct me to a link. Say, hey, Warmack, you know, this is where he said it. And, hey, I, I, let me tell you something. I'm not one of these dumb idiots who will debate facts. If you got facts on your side, I, there's nothing I can do. All I can do is, he's right. If you come with facts, I can't do nothing. Like I said, if someone can direct me to a link, as far as I know, Obama has never said he'll, he won't uh, negotiate with terrorists. Now, Congress was in an off war because they said, well, they, he never came to us to set in fifth. You, you know how it is, Congress and the president. But the press secretary said they've been having discussions with Congress behind the scenes, which I, I, I tend to believe they have because you don't do something like that without Congress's approval. 
they may, I mean, as far as I know, they maybe they didn't, maybe they gave a date. We're gonna get them by X date, and I guess you gotta give a thirty day notice when they were detainees at Gitmo or leave or someone. Somebody, somebody, look, I need an assistant. Somebody's gonna be researching this because these guys ain't going shit over here but playing fucking PlayStation Nintendo. Excuse my French. But somewhere at the computer doing what they're supposed to be doing, but eh. Back to the topic of the hand, because I'm digressing again. So, uh, a lot of senators, like I think McCain spoke out, ironic, because he was a detainee and he came back home. But I don't know if it was a trade or they just, the North Indians just said, hey, just get the fuck out of here. But, uh, the initial from Congress was Obama did some a lot of stuff illegal. He should have came to Congress first, this, that, and the third. But uh, here's the situation: go to Congress. Maybe, he, maybe they did. Maybe they went by the letter of uh, agreement or the law, whatever it is. Maybe they did it literally what they did it, but they didn't do it the way Congress would like them to do it. You know what I mean? And when you're dealing with that, I mean, come on, it's a, it's a man's life. If it was one, if it was one of their kids. I'm sure they wouldn't be bitching and moaning right now. So, um, like I said, the, the law is, and I just, I just got it right here. Like I said, I'm in front of a computer now. The law is like a president, a president administration is supposed to give Congress 30 days in advance of any movement or transfer of any detainees in Gitmo. And they probably did that. They didn't tell them it was for bird dog. You know, so like I said, some of the members will come for notes like after release of Bergdahl, like I said, that's probably what happened. You know, but you gotta ask yourself what was the deal with this, because are we gonna start negotiating now with terrorists? Or terrorists gonna start to get slick and start kidnapping? Not the hard targets that you think they'll kidnap. They'll go like nowadays they're going after soft targets. Look look, they're going after doctors, they're going after the well the police aren't really soft targets because they still have a lot of, they're, they're still a military option, you know what I mean? But they got the doctors, lawyers, you know, workers, job sites, they could do stuff like that, nurses, like vital people, like they're vital to the industries, vital to the, like, the infrastructure of America. And then, like I said, that, or is that what's going to happen from now on? We're going to go up there soft targets and they're going to start kidnapping them. Hey, they're going to negotiate to do it for this guy. I don't know, that's, that's, that's up in the air. But, Second part of this is where where Bergdahl's platoon, his buddies said he, you know, they, they were like, hey, the dude walked away. He deserted us. What, what, what y'all doing? And I guess more than one said this. Like, like they were on agreement, basically, that like dudes are deserted. So, first of all, how you gonna desert? No, again, I think there's a screw loose. And if you've seen the latest reports about Papa Bergdahl, then you know they maybe there's a family history of mental illness in there. Because I'm, I'm not justifying what he did, because he deserted, you know, right? That's it. You get what you get, but there's ways to maneuver around that. So this is the big uproar that we did. All this. So that, and this is what the American people are focusing on. We traded five known terrorists, five people who were known to kill people, for a guy who deserted his post. Like this is what veterans are mad about too. This is for a guy who does for a deserter. But basically for a trader, you gave up five diehard guys in Gitmo to get back a trader. And this is where people don't understand this. I guess it don't make sense to them because truth be told, it don't make sense to me. If the dude was a deserter and a trader, like like alleged reports, I mean, what are you gonna do? You wasted all that time, effort, and money just to get him back. Sooner or later, if it was real like that, he would have found out Afghanistan ain't what he thinks it is, and he would have shipped his happy ass back to America. And then once he hit the airport, and then he'd, he'd get me every fucking five minutes with this fucking TSA security. You can't get him when he enters, if enters the you know one of the ports of entry. But uh, now it's under scrutiny because, like, uh, I guess the army's looking at uh, desertion charges against this guy. I mean, I don't know what's gonna happen. I mean, desertion, it, it's serious. Like, if you can get like, I think, what, 50 years in a break and 50 years in, in, a, in a military prison? I mean, I think what's gonna happen is maybe dude saw some, I don't know. The dude's gonna get maybe a, a medical and he's gonna get his benefits. That's what I think. As long as he makes rights a deal that he won't say nothing. Because the guy's been a captive, he's been captive for five years, so. But like I said, the American people and veterans are upset that like we gave we gave all this way for a dude who's a traitor. So
So that's why the American people are fed up. So I just decided to make the video because a lot of people on my Facebook and a lot of people in my inbox are like, hey man, you need to talk about this and what do you think? And like, I agree with them to a point. If the dude's are deserving a traitor, you should you could have got a better deal than what you got. You could have gave him one of those guys. I mean, or not do nothing. The guy they would release him sooner or later. That's just my opinion. I don't know. So that's all. That's all. I mean, what do you think? I mean, I understand. But like I said, what if that was your kid? If your kid was over in Afghanistan, these black soldiers are going. How would you feel? That's the other shoes y'all got. You got to look at because if that was my kid, you know, I would want him to come home. So, deserve it or not, I don't know the story. So that's why I'm not really going in on this dude because I don't know the whole story. And I usually don't, like, I usually wait a while to do something, but like a lot of people wanted me to do this and I'm sitting there and I'll do it, whatever. Because it, plus it was interesting too, so that's why I did it. So, I'm out, you know. It's the things, the things you gotta look up and talk about. And I hope this is one of the things. But like I said, I mean, if he's a deserter, He'll pay the price, but at the same time, if that was your kid, would you want him to be traded? I don't know. Peace. Great guy. He's always on himself.